Hey loves, my name is Brianna. In today's video, we're going to be going over the things you are forgetting to clean around your home. Some of this stuff can be really, really nasty, like, oh, do not forget to clean these things. But don't worry, I'm here to help you with this how-to today. So get on your cleaning gloves and get ready to clean with me. We're gonna kick off this video in the kitchen today, and the first place I'm gonna be cleaning is the garbage disposal. So I have the best way to clean it for you. Thank you to Afresh for sponsoring today's video, but I'm gonna be using their disposal cleaner. It has the most amazing citrus scent, and we're going to clean the disposal today. So here's the Afresh disposal cleaner, and the directions are on the back. They're super easy to follow. So we're just gonna turn on the hot water first, and I have it on a low flow, and I'm gonna put my disposal cleaner tablet right in there and turn the disposal on, prepare for the noise. And you can see the foam kind of rises up there then. I'm gonna let this run for about 30 seconds. I ran that for about 30 seconds and now I'm just going to rinse all the residue down the drain. But oh my gosh, just smells instantly better. It smells so clean and citrusy thanks to the Afresh disposal cleaner. And Afresh makes it super easy so that you never forget about cleaning your disposal because right on the box, they have the months that you can just check off so you're never forgetting to clean. And the next place you're forgetting to clean that you definitely don't wanna forget is your dishwasher. A fresh also makes that super easy because all you have to do is drop in one of their dishwasher cleaner tablets. It works in all dishwasher models. And here's what you can do. You can either put it right in the bottom of your dishwasher, or if you want to run it without dishes like I'm going to do today, you just put your a fresh dishwasher tablet right into the detergent dispenser. Then just turn on your dishwasher and Afresh will work its magic then while we're cleaning some other stuff today. If you're wondering how often you should be cleaning your dishwasher, it should be about once a month, and Afresh, again, makes it super easy so that you don't forget when you've cleaned your dishwasher. I love that Afresh is just so easy to use. You just pop it in and forget it, but it also does the job. So it's gonna get rid of all the lime scale and mineral buildup in your machine so that it's actually performing at maximum capacity. And again, you don't want any of that like nasty stuff that maybe you don't see internally getting onto your dishes and your utensils. So I love a fresh, I love the way it smells too, and I love the way that it leaves everything sparkling clean. So I'll have a fresh link down in my description box below so that you can check it out as you are cleaning with me. And I'm gonna pop back over to the sink because you might be forgetting to clean the actual head of your faucet. So I'm just gonna pour some vinegar right into a cup. And then I'm gonna take my cup and just soak the faucet head in the vinegar. And I'm gonna hold it here for about a minute. All right, it has been about a minute. And if you notice that your faucet head had a lot of buildup, you're probably gonna need to repeat this or do it a little bit more, but I'm just gonna wipe it with a paper towel. You can kind of see there's like a bunch of nasty build up that can get on there. And I mean, yeah, there's definitely gunk on it, but this one, <laughs> I've been pretty good at cleaning it. You just wanna make sure that you don't see any like black crusty gunk on there so that it is nice and clean. You guys know I love to clean or I wouldn't be making clean videos all the time, but since we are renting this home, these can be really good things too for you to think about doing in case you are gonna be staying in a vacation rental or even places that maybe you wanna clean when you do go to a hotel because there will be some overlap of places that sometimes are just forgotten about in regular cleans that you just wanna make sure you're going the extra mile when it comes to cleaning. And I just have some vinegar in this spray bottle and I'm gonna use it for a couple of other things you might be forgetting to clean in the kitchen too. Bridge handles are definitely a high touch area that you might just forget about cleaning that should be cleaned, especially if you are like staying in a rental home like we are. So I'm gonna clean those handles. You know it still hurts a little bit, but not that much. Cause if you want somebody else, who am I to touch? And truly when it comes to any sort of a handle, or knobs in the kitchen, don't forget to clean those places too. And 
don't forget to clean all of the handles and different knobs on your cabinets. The other night I saw you glance your everlasting light. Met your eyes, raise a sharp cut through the crowd. Any place where there's food, so like wipe out your refrigerator real good. But especially the pantry can be a place where you just don't even realize the amount of crumbs that can sort of gather in there. So I'm similarly just gonna be taking some vinegar and wiping away all of the crumbs. weather coming up or if you are going to be traveling or renting you might not be familiar with some of the pests that come with the different environments that you're going to be living in so it's just always a really good idea to make sure that you've cleared out any of those crumbs so that you're not attracting any unwanted critters to your home another thing you might be forgetting to clean is your actual cleaning tools so make sure that your broom gets a good clean if there's any like very visible dust bunnies you can sort of just pick those right off. But you might also just want to, with like a wet paper towel, run that over the bristles of your brush so that you're drawing out any dust that could be sticking on to your broom. All right, now I'm moving into the foyer area of some places you're probably forgetting about cleaning in here. And another place that is very high touch that you do not want to forget about cleaning are your door handles and the locks on the doors. Same thing, I'm just gonna take my vinegar, make sure these areas that get touched a lot are nice and clean. Okay, I want you to tell me the truth in the comments. When's the last time you have cleaned your sunglasses? Think about this, you're wearing these all the time, you're touching them with your hands, they go right on your face. So do not forget about cleaning your sunnies so that they stay nice and free of germs. And just like door handles, you're touching your keys all the time too, so make sure that you do not forget about cleaning your keys. And especially if you have like car keys with the buttons, make sure you're getting in around all of those buttons that are getting pushed so that your keys are nice and clean every time you grab them. And then this hopefully is a no-brainer, but make sure you're cleaning your masks, especially if you've worn it, don't think about putting it back on your face again until it is actually clean if you're using a fabric one like this or a reusable one like this. Make sure that you're throwing them in the wash and washing them on a hot water cycle. Also right by the front door, I always have my reusable shopping bags. And it's a really good idea, especially if you've been putting food in these, that you are just giving them regular cleaning. If they're the type of fabric ones, you can just throw in the wash, throw them in the wash, but if they are more of like a plastic coating, you probably wanna make sure that you're especially getting the bottom where they could be sat on the ground or on places that could be a little more dirty or high traffic and give them a good wipe down all around the outside and all on the inside too. Some plans, some dreams to catch, to prom talk technology next because especially your phone if you're holding it up to your face and touching it all of the time you want to make sure that every single side of your phone front back all around the outsides where there are those buttons are nice and clean and free of germs and sticking with technology if there's any sort of a keyboard mouse that you're using all the time make sure that you're cleaning this as well Whether you are at home or if you're staying in a hotel or a rental house, don't forget about cleaning your pens. The next things you're forgetting to clean are all going to be in your living area space. And don't forget about cleaning those remote controls, especially if you're traveling, but even in your own home, these are just a magnet for germs. So I made some plans, some dreams to catch, to promise lands, to find my path.
person who loves throw blankets like me, make sure you're washing these regularly, especially if they've been sitting out because they can get dusty really fast and the more they're used, obviously the more germs they're also picking up. And if you are traveling anywhere or staying in a rental, the first thing I would do is always wash my throw blankets if there are any in the home before I actually use one. Same goes with throw pillows. Make sure that you are cleaning these regularly. If you are traveling, I would recommend bringing some sort of an antibacterial fabric spray so that you can kind of spray everything down. Or if there is a dryer, put the throw pillows in the dryer on the antibacterial cycle so that everything gets nice and clean or just make sure that you are taking pillow covers off and washing them regularly. Fake plants are another thing you are probably forgetting to clean. And all you need again is just the multi-surface cleaner and make sure that you're wiping away all of the dust that are on those fake plants. Next, a couple of things you're forgetting to clean in the bathroom. The first one is your toothbrush. Now, if you're not ready to invest in one of these toothbrushes that is self-cleaning, just put some vinegar into a cup and put the head of your toothbrush in it and let it sit for a good 10 minutes to kill all of those germs. Next thing in the bathroom you don't wanna forget about cleaning is your bath mat, especially if one, it's full of tons of hair <laughs> if you're postpartum like I am. But keep in mind, it's also where like your feet are constantly, so make sure that you're throwing these in the wash and cleaning them regularly. And especially if you are staying in a hotel or in a rental that provides a blow dryer, make sure you clean this blow dryer before you actually use it. Well, we are done cleaning for today, so I thought I would show you how nice and sparkly clean my dishwasher is now. It smells so good, too. There was 23 things that you're forgetting to clean. Thank you for cleaning with me today. And thank you to Afresh for sponsoring today's video. Again, I will have all of the Afresh products linked down in my description box below for you to check them out. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, loves.